Okay, Adobe, right here, Adobe Edge Animate. Very good, and all these programs are available through the Adobe Creative Cloud. And then, then I'll just click uh, Create New. And the size of this artboard, or this animation, I want it to be 960, because that's the width of, um, of a, a default Adobe Muse website. And we'll set the height to 750. So there's our, 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 um, our stage that we're gonna work with here in Edge Animate. And basically what I'm going to do is just drag in all those images that we saved in from uh, Illustrator. So again, I, I changed the size of the stage by here where it says width, I set it to 960 and the height I set to 750. Okay, so now I'm just going to select all these images that I saved and just click, hold and drag onto my Edge Animate site. Alright, so that looks good there. I even like the size, it looks great. So the first thing I'm going to do, these are all, I mean, I can select them all like this, but I can select them one by one now. They're placed on my uh, stage here on my uh, Edge Animate project. So now I'm just going to select this main image and just put it here kind of close to the top and center it in the middle. That looks good. And I'm going to take this heart and just, um, right now it's, it's behind this. So I want to right click, arrange, and bring to front. And there we go, now the heart is in the front and in the center right there, perfect. Looks good. And now with these wings, I wanna place them in the proper location. So I can select them here uh, in the in this view right down here. So I can select uh, tail one, and now tail one selected. And that tail belongs to this bird here on the left. So I'm just gonna scoot it in so that it looks perfectly attached to the bird. Very good, and then we'll say tail two. And I'll just drag it over here to this bird until it's perfectly aligned there. That looks good. And then we'll say wing two, or let's do wing one. And let's bring that to the front. So I'll right click, arrange, bring to front. And that one goes right here. That looks good. And I can just move with the arrow keys, move it around. And then we'll select the last wing right over here and just place it right here on this bird here until it looks pretty good. Yep. There, that looks good. All right, nice. So I have my wings attached and my tail and the heart in here as well. So now what we're going to do is add some animation to these elements. Okay, so now we're going to add animation to this tail. So we're going to select um, tail one right over here. And what we want to do is set the pivot point right over here to the bottom right of the tail so that when it pivots, it pivots uh, from not from the middle because if it if we pivot from the middle, the tail goes like this. And right here, I'm in the transform section of Adobe Edge Animate. And we can see it kind of pivots and that's not what we want it to do. We want it to pivot from the bottom right so that the tail looks like it's, it's kind of flailing from that area, kind of going back and forth from that area. So to do that, we go where it says origin, we set the origin to 100%. So it goes all the way to the right on the X axis. And we set the Y position to 100% as well. So it goes all the way to the bottom on the Y axis. So now that um, that origin position is on the bottom right. So if you if you uh, change the the origin or if you change the transform here from up and down, uh, it looks like that element is pivoting from the bird right there at, at that part of the bird. All right, very good. So now we can add animation. So now I'm on tail one. So to add animation, what I'm going to do is start at zero. So we're at the zero point here and I'm going to insert a keyframe. And to do that, we just click on this kind of diamond area here where it says, and if you hover over it, you can see it says add key add keyframe for, for rotate. So if I click there, we have a keyframe that starts at rotate zero. And then at half a second, I want it to rotate, um, I want it to rotate up about, let's say 12 degrees. So that looks pretty good there. So it doesn't really go into the bird, but almost like the bird hits the back of the bird and then it go, it'll go back down. So at 0.5 second, 
seconds it goes it goes uh, to 12 degrees <coughs> excuse me and then at one second we'll bring it back down to zero now we want to bring it back to the original motion it was at otherwise when it starts looping it'll it'll be choppy so if we look at it it looks nice it just goes up and down like that and we have that nice motion on it so that looks good so now we'll do the second tail so we'll go to tail two and for this one we want the the uh, the origin the center to be at the bottom left so it looks like the the rotate is from that bottom left area so to do that on the x axis we'll set it to zero so it goes all the way to the left and on the y we'll set it to 100 so now it's in that area so if we rotate we can see it's rotating from that area all right very good if we rotate too much it kind of goes off but if we rotate up it looks good so I'll set that to zero and again, I'll, I'm on tail two, so I'll go back to the beginning and I'll add a keyframe, a rotate keyframe right there. Then I'll go to 0.5 seconds and we want to go uh, like go negative here on the rotate. So we'll do we'll do negative 12 as well. So that looks good because we want it to go rotate to the left. So we go negative 12 and then we'll go back to the the one second. We'll insert a keyframe and we'll set that to zero all right so if we play it we can see those tails are going up and down looks great okay so the next thing we want to do is add the rotate animation to the wings so i'll select wing one and we want it to rotate from the upper right so the top right so we'll and the origin we'll set it to 100 on the y axis to go all the way to the right oh excuse me 100 on the x axis to go all the way to the right and 100 on the y axis no, excuse me, it's zero on the y-axis, so we get that top keyframe there. So if we rotate the, the wing, it looks like it's flapping there. All right, so kind of the same thing we did for the tail. We go to the zero start point, and we set a key position of zero degrees for the rotate animation. And then we go to 0.5 seconds, and I want to rotate it to, let's say, negative. No, excuse me, I want to rotate it positive. Let's say positive uh, 20. Yeah, it looks good. Positive 20 or to the right 20 degrees. And then I'll go to the one second marker, add a keyframe, and then we'll set it back to zero. There we go. So let's look at the animation. Great. Looks really nice. So now I'll go to wing two and we'll set the origin to the upper left corner. So we'll do zero on the X axis to go all the way to the left and zero on the Y axis as well. So we get the top of the Y axis. So if we rotate, that wing looks like it's rotating on the bird. Very good. So now we want to do the same thing we did with the other wing. We'll start at the zero point, set a key position of zero, go to the 0.5 second mark, add a key position of, let's say, yeah, negative, we'll do negative 20 as well. Or uh, yeah, we'll do, yeah, yeah, negative 20 degrees so it goes up on the wing. And then we'll go to the one second mark, add a key position, and set it to zero. So if we look at this animation, nice, it looks perfect. Very good. And so now we want to add, we want to make the heart go from small to big. So we want to add a scale animation to this. So we select the heart. We can see that the heart is selected here in, in this area. And we're just going to, uh, in the, um, excuse me, in the transform section, we're going to add a, a scale key, scale keyframe, which is right over here it's to the left. So we're going to add a, an X scale keyframe and a, did I say that right? X scale keyframe and a Y scale keyframe. So it appears here on the, um, on our timeline view here. So now I go to the 0.5 second mark and I'm, because these are linked, yeah, this is linked here. So if I change the X scale, it's going to change the Y scale. So I'm going to bring this down from 100% to 88%. So the heart gets smaller, smaller there. And so it's at 88% scale on the X and Y. So it, it retains its proportions and just gets smaller. And then I'll go to the one second mark and I'll add another keyframe here, X and Y keyframe, and we'll set it to 100%. All right, perfect. So now if we preview that, it goes from big to small. Yep, looks great. Yep. 
Did I do that correct? Yeah, it goes from 100% to 88% to 100%. So it looks like a heartbeat. All right, that looks great. So we're almost done with this edge animate um, animation. So now I just want to add a few hearts kind of like around here to the around this image. So I'm going to hit or actually I'm going to duplicate the heart. So I'm going to right click and click on duplicate here on the timeline view. I'll click on the heart and click on uh, duplicate. So now we have heart copy and I want to delete these um, these scale animations. And what I want to do is I'm just going to copy this heart over here to the left and I'm going to hold down shift and grab one of the corners here and, and scale it down a little bit because I don't want it that big. That looks good there. And I'm going to rotate this heart kind of on its axis. So like right there, that looks good. And I'm just going to give this kind of a back and forth motion um, here on this on this uh, animation. So I'm going to select, um, yeah, so I'm going to select the zero point here on the timeline. And I'm going to select a, here, let's set it to 20, negative 20. It was at negative 21. I just want to keep it at even numbers. So there is, it's rotated at negative 20. So we want to insert a keyframe right there. And then we'll go to 0 0.5 and we'll set it to zero. Or let's set it to uh, to five there. So it kind of goes back a little bit further. And then we'll go to the one second mark and set it back to negative 20. All right, so if you preview that animation, you can see the heart is kind of going back and forth. That's just to add some interesting effects there. And so now I'm going to copy one more heart. So I'm going to right click and click on duplicate this heart copy. So now we have a heart copy too. And basically I'm just going to drag this other copy and just kind of rotate it differently. So I'm going to set it to, I'm going to select this keyframe here where it says rotate minus 20 and I'm just going to set it to positive 20. There we go. And the same for the five, I'm just going to set it to negative five. So basically I'm just inverting the rotation. So we have hearts going from like left to right and then hearts going from right to left. All right, and then I'm gonna go to negative 20 here and set it to positive 20. All right, so the heart, once one heart starts from left to right and kind of rocks back and forth and one heart starts from right to left and rocks back and forth. All right, so that, so if we preview the animation we can see those hearts rocking and and then I'm just going to kind of make this heart a little bit smaller as well. So I hold down shift and grab one of the corners and just make it a little bit smaller there. And I'm going to duplicate this one more time. So we have heart copy three and I'm going to place it right up here and just scale it a little bit bigger. That looks good. So now if we hit play, we have hearts kind of rocking back and forth and the wings playing there. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is loop this animation so it, it plays continuously. So to do that, we have this uh, actions title here in the timeline. And then there's like a little dot with brackets around it. So you want to click on that. And you want to just type in uh, this dot play and in parentheses zero and semicolon. And that'll ensure that the animation loops when you play it. It's not going to loop when you play it here in this timeline, but once you insert it into Adobe Muse, uh, it'll it'll loop just fine. And I'm pretty sure we have to insert that, but we'll we'll do a test and see if that's required. But in the last one, I did that, so I'll just go ahead and do that on this one. So again, it was in the actions. You hit the dot with the brackets and type in this dot play zero in parentheses and a semicolon. All right, so that's pretty much it for this uh, for this animation. Uh, the last thing we want to do is give it some color. So I'm just going to go back to that sample site, and I'm going to select that color. It's actually this color here in this menu. Very good. And we want to yeah color this uh, this animation. So in the stage area, right over here to the left, we click on where it says where it's, that white is. We just click there. And I'll click on hex because I have the hex code. You can do RGBA, hex, or HSLA. So I have the hex code, so I'm just going to paste it right in there. And there's that blue, that nice blue that I had on my sample site. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for the animation. So the last thing we need to do is publish this animation. So to do that, we go to File, we go to Publish Settings, and we don't want to publish it for the web. We want to create an animate, um, excuse me, an animate deployment package. So you just click right there, and we don't need transparent or poster image, and we don't want to host runtime files on Adobe CDN. Um, so that's all fine, and yeah, that looks good. And then we want to select a target directory. So I'm just going to find that folder and right here in the rebuild, I'll just choose that and uh, very good. And you can do transparent. You can just look more into what that is and, and host runtime files on Adobe CDN. You can look more into what that is and yeah, I can leave it as untitled one or I can name it, you know, bird or, you know, mother's day. And then I'll click on save. Very good. And then I'll go to file and I'll go back to publish settings and Let's see. Oh, yeah. I haven't saved the project yet. So I have to fi click on File, Save, and I'll click on Rebuild, and I'll just t title this Edge Animate. So I just have to save the, the file first before I can publish it. So I've saved the Edge Animate animation by clicking File, Save. Now I can go to Publish Settings, go to Animate Deploy Package, and you know I've already selected the, the directory, labeled it Mother's Day. And then right over here to the left, I can click on Publish.